y'all, it's Ashley, a.k.a. Ash. And Shantavia, a.k.a. Shay. And, and this, this is, is Obedience Podcast. Podcast. So we want to welcome you guys to the second episode of our Perfect Peace series. So throughout this series, our series objective is, throughout this world, you can rest assured that we will have trouble, struggles, all that good stuff. But we can rest assured that God is with us at all times yes. because he said that he's never leave us nor forsake us so that we can have that reassurance in this life. So our anchor scripture is John 16 and 33 in the Amplified. And it reads, I have told you these things so that in me you may have perfect peace. In the world you have tribulations and distress and suffering, but be courageous, be confident, be undaunted, be filled with joy. I have overcome the world. My conquest is accomplished. My victory is abiding. So if you did not catch episode one, we discussed what is peace? Where we gave you guys the definition, the foundation of peace. And during this episode, we'll discuss the wavering peace. So Shay, go ahead and tell us what we'll be discussing throughout this episode. All right, so this episode is going to focus on the B portion of our anchor scripture, mm-hmm. John sixteen thirty three. The B portion says, "In the world you have tribulation and distress and suffering." So we know right here that that's going to happen mm-hmm. to us, and so the objective of this episode is to determine if you really have the peace of God or the wavering peace of the world. And our focus scripture for this episode is going to be John 14, 27. And I'm going to read it out of the NIV version. It says, peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled Mm -hmm. and do not be afraid. So before we jump into this episode, we always have to invite our third member into the group, Holy Spirit. So let's take a second and bow our heads. So, Father God, we want to thank you for letting us get together another day. We want to thank you that throughout the chaos that's surrounding this world that we see on an everyday basis, that we have your perfect peace that you promised Mm -hmm. us so long ago. We thank you that no matter what we do, we still have it and it can't be earned and it can't be purchased. We thank you that you are always with us and even though our surroundings may not look like everything is peaceful, that you are there on the inside of us, always reassuring us that everything is going to be okay. I pray, Lord, that if someone right now is going through a time where they just don't see the peace that they need, that you reveal to them in this moment, through this episode, that peace is going to come, and all they have to do is reach out and receive it. We pray that throughout this episode that you give us the words to say and that it's less of us and more of you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So thank you, Shay, for go ahead and inviting Holy Spirit in. And in the prayer you did, you already did the introduction of the lesson. <laughs> now we got the definition about God's peace, okay? Got that. Now one thing is for sure, this worldly peace, I don't know, they're using so many techniques, now I just can't keep up with it, and I'm not trying to keep up with it. You know, they have different statues, different fragrances, smokes, smudges, crystals, all that good stuff. That is defined as the worldly peace, all those worldly things that they they obtain yep. money. They think that's peace as well. Even rich people that's com- committing suicide, yep. that status does not automatically equate to being peaceful. And nothing else will. But you can have nothing at all and still have God's peace. Yep. But the thing is, you won't have lack because you're in Christ. So, hey, if I'm with Christ, there is no lack in him. Mm -hmm. I have his peace. I have his joy. And I know that he will provide along the way. And one thing we can rest assured is that in this flesh, if we're not guarded, we can easily be troubled by the world's circumstances and situations. Mm -hmm. We can easily be troubled by that. But the one thing I love about this passage of scripture is that Jesus was telling his disciples that, hey, I'm going to go. Hey, hey, hey. He was saying, peace out. (laughs) But I got the peace. 
on the inside <laughs> of you. Peace out, but the peace is over there. It's on yeah. the inside of you. One thing that he was saying that, hey, I got this gift of Holy Spirit, though. Yeah. I'm finna go, but I got this gift that's even better. Yeah, it's gonna be within better. you, you and you, and all of you who are attached to me. And he was saying, hey, this piece right here is for your heart and also for your mind. Because one thing that can change our emotions is going to be what we hear and how we feel. Yep. Our mindset about something and how we feel about something. That will be the determining factor on if I say, hey, that there's chaos around me or, hey, I got peace of God around me. Yeah. And I love that you brought up the Holy Spirit because that is what I was going to focus on, too. Mm -hmm. Because... Holy Spirit is inside of each one of us. Every single one of us has the authority and capability to access Holy Spirit. That was one of the reasons why Jesus left us. It was one of the greatest gifts that he could have given mm -hmm. to us because he couldn't do it as a single person on the earth. But when he went away, his spirit was able to go to everybody right. at once. And that's literally what he was saying to his disciples. He was saying, I am going to leave you peace. I wanted to talk about the part of the scripture where it says, I do not give you as the world gives. Mm -hmm. And actually, you pointed out the crystals, the tarot cards. Oh, child. I forgot about that yes. one, Yes. What else? So many things. There's so many. So many things that us as Christians just automatically be like, oh, yeah, that's peace of the world. Uh-uh. But there are things that we as Christians can find peace in that's of the world. Mm -hmm. So I was recently watching... And I mentioned this in the in-depth. I was watching Dr. Darius Daniels' Bible studies. Y'all need to go check it out. It's the Unbothered series. And he talked about how if your peace is in a thing, when that thing leaves, so does your peace. Mm -hmm. Whereas if your peace is found in God, Holy Spirit lives on the inside of us. Mm -hmm. So wherever we go, that's always going to be peace. That's right. He brought up Paul and how Paul wrote to the Philippian people and the Colossae people about being this great Christian. Mm -hmm. And he's locked up in jail, but he still has contentment and peace out of this world yeah. that transcends all mm -hmm. understanding because his yeah. peace wasn't found in the world. It was found yeah. in the Holy Spirit and God. And it made me think about the things that us as Christians can find peace in. A lot of people, my peace is found in this job. Mm -hmm. I got to be honest. I found myself sometimes like somebody called me and say, this, this coworker got fired. I'm like, oh, Lord, am I next? Am I next? And I have to like, hold up. If I am next, God got me. That's right. You knew it before time. My peace is not in this job. Mm -hmm. My peace is not in this paycheck because the only person that can truly sustain me. Right. Is God. Mm -hmm. So let me get myself together. Mm -hmm. You know, or some people, their peace is found in their marriage. And so if their marriage ends, their peace is gone, or peace is found in their children. Yeah. I mean, just things like that that we don't even think about. Some people can even find peace in like clothes or money. Um, yeah, money or vehicles. Uh uh, I can't have this. Um, Honda Accord, I need to have a BMW because I need to be on the status of them. That's what's going to truly bring me peace. If my BMW get repossessed, I just don't know what I'm going to do. But that's not, that's not the peace of God. Mm -mm. That's the peace of the world. Yep. So when you hear the scripture that it says, I do not give you as the world gives, we have to keep in mind that it's not just those things that we automatically think about as Christians. It's those things that, think about it, if it truly leaves you, Will you still be happy? Mm -hmm. What a lot of people always say, like, nobody can bring you happiness. You can only bring yourself happiness. Nobody can bring you peace. The only person who can bring you peace is God. Nobody else can give you the peace that God can provide to you. Mm -hmm. So why go through all of those other avenues where you can go directly to the peace that's given to us so freely? Yeah. When I came up with this episode, I titled it Wavering Peace. It's because peace of the world is so inconsistent. Mm -hmm. Like, I remember, and I know my sisters out there, y'all done been in the same situation I done been in. If you found your peace in a relationship or a situationship, one day y'all can be so happy and everything is amazing and then the next day, 
that person may not text you back or they may not call you and your whole day thrown off mm -hmm. off of the world mm -hmm. basically based on somebody else child. yeah um and and that's what the piece of the world is it's so wavering it's mm -hmm. never consistent you cannot depend on it and we already talked about it in the last episode it's everlasting mm -hmm. it can never be taken away I so our piece of god is consistency don't we love consistency as mm -hmm. women in my year of 27 video, I talked about how I was in a situation that was not meant for me at all. But I just remember during that time having so much chaos around me. And I couldn't really figure out why am I consistently not at peace. How my mind was, it's kind of like, I know we've never been at war. But, you know, like in a war, after they didn't bombed everything, how it's all smoky. Mm -hmm. and you kind of walk, like, that's how I felt during that season. But... Once I took my faith and trust off of this situation making me happy and I gave my worries, like Ashley said in the last episode, I gave my worries to God and I just put my life in his hands. Mm -hmm. When I tell y'all, if y'all saw my makeup and ministry, I just saw my little rainbow just bright and shiny in the sky because my peace wasn't in this thing. I knew it was truly found in just living for God. Mm -hmm. So we never want to put our peace in things that we can't control. You can't control another person. You can't control losing your job. You can't control getting into an accident. You can't control losing all your money out your bank account. You can't control somebody walking up to you having a bad attitude. Mm -hmm. Those are things you cannot control. You need to put your peace into something that you know you already have yeah. and you don't need to worry about if it's going to act right or if it's going to do right because we already know that we have it. It's something that's promised to us. I'm so glad that you brought up the point that we don't have to go through these other avenues to receive the peace of God. All we have to do is go start directly to Jesus Christ, receive him as our savior to have a chance to experience this. And I was thinking, this is an exclusive piece that everyone can have a chance to experience. So in order to experience the peace of God, you must first receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. So through Jesus, we are offered the opportunity to have a personal relationship with God. So if you have not received Jesus Christ as your Savior... Now is the perfect opportunity to do so. If you would like to accept Jesus as your Savior, all you have to do is repeat this very short prayer after us. Mm -hmm. Lord Jesus, I know without you, I am lost. Today, I make the decision to make you the Lord of my life. I receive you now as my Savior, and I make you the Lord of my life. Thank you for forgiving me. And delivering me from sin. In Jesus name. Amen. amen. And just as simple. You are now a part of the union of Christ. And we are so excited to have you a part of the family. If you did repeat that prayer after us. Be sure to connect with the Bible teaching church. Mm -hmm. We always include our church's live stream link. In the description box below. Where we go live at 8.30 a.m. And 10.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. Every single Sunday. All right, so comment down below a thing of the world that you used to put your peace in. We hope that you've transitioned and transformed your mind to putting your peace in God. In, yes. in God alone. Yeah, and if you need any prayer in that area, add that to the comment mm -hmm. and we will add you to our prayer list. That's right. And while you're down there, go ahead and hit that like button. And then be sure that you are subscribed and then hit that bell notification so you're notified every single time we upload. Mm -hmm. And while you're over there. You might as well go ahead and hit the share button. So go ahead and share it with five of your friends. Let's count them up. It's one, two, three, four, and five. And also your enemies as well. They need some peace. Yeah, Jesus. they definitely need the yes. peace. So they can leave you alone, you know. Get some kind of peace in their life. Yeah. Help them out. They won't be so mean. And then if you haven't, be sure that you are following us on all of our social media platforms. They should be on the screen for you right now. 
And if you have any prayer requests, be sure to send those to us at obediencepodcast at gmail.com and we'll be sure to stand in agreement with you. And be sure to tune in Tuesday with another beat face and a word with the makeup of ministry from Miss Shay over here. Y'all come on, get this word and also that beat face. Keep me in your prayers. You don't want to miss it. It was amazing (laughs) last time. If you did not catch the last one, it was great. Go ahead and watch the previous one. All right, so that's all that we have for you guys today. We want to thank you for spending your Saturday morning with us. Thank you. It has been a pleasure. We pray that you are taking your peace out of those things of the world. You're putting your peace in God. But in the meantime, in between time, as always, be Be obedient. obedient. We'll see y'all next time. Bye. Ooh, written writing. Jesus said it. I thought you said red riding hood. <laughs> no, darling. I was just like, huh? Hey, y'all. Bye. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, Sorry. well, let me not. But. Joy. Joy. God's grace. Song. Oh, two different songs. I think it's the same song, different part. Oh, okay. <laughs> and distinct, distinct, distinctively. I help you with that one. Distinctively. Too many V's, too many T's, too many I's. Now you could say inevitably, we're good. I could say distinctively. Mm-mm, I've been spit everywhere. That you can pull from a, a, a what's the word I'm looking for? A reservoir. Um, I'm gonna leave you Okay, thanks. <laughs> Cause I don't know that. Okay. Can you tell me now? I saw your notes. Mm-hmm. Do it this episode. <laughs> We're going to talk about wavering faith. Peace. <laughs> yeah, she going to talk about faith so bad. And I was thinking, like, this is an exclusive faith. Y'all, she going to talk about faith so bad. Okay. When I came up with this episode, I named it wavering. Well, I won't say wavering faith. She didn't got me, y'all. In my year of 30. I am not 30, child. Okay. Excuse me. She lived a good life. (laughs) All right, so that's all that we have for you guys today. Thank you for spending your Saturday morning with us. Let me do that over again. That was good. (laughs) What's wrong? I forgot what I was saying. Oh. But until next time, as always, be obedient. (laughs) 